There's a familiar face behind me with more than 20 years experience in design and construction. Ramson Kachi regularly shares his tips on construction and design and all things around our homes. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. How you doing? Yeah. How are you holding up and how's the business holding up during the pandemic? Crazy busy. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. You just have yeah. to change how you do business. But now yeah. that the long winter is over, we're into spring. A lot of things to think about with our homes inside and out and a lot of it safety related. Yes. I mean, we're all in our homes more often now. Safety is a huge issue, Bob. And, and you know, let's just start right off the bat with smoke alarms. I mean, you want to be safe day and night. And smoke alarms are something that we don't always think about. And because we're home and we have time, let's fix some of these things and keep on top of them, right? So what kind of product? So, uh, yeah. Well, well smoke, smoke alarms. Let's, let's just go right on smoke alarms. People have to know a couple of things. Number one, yes, you have to change your batteries. Uh, you have to make sure that if they're more than 10 years old, change them. They have a life on them. So anything more than 10 years old, make sure you get new ones. Try and get one that does both smoke and carbon monoxide, something like the one link here. Um, make sure that they interconnect. If you have an older house and you don't have smoke alarms that are interconnected on every level and in the bedroom, you can get ones that are Wi-Fi connected that if one goes off, it'll ring all the other ones. And make sure you have them either inside your bedrooms or outside the door of the bedroom as well so you hear it all the time. And again, uh, make sure you replace the old ones because there is a shelf life. Yes, for sure. People don't know that. And, you know, there's another element that people, it's a tough one, fire extinguishers. You know, people have them. They put them underneath the kitchen sink. It gets buried in the back. They're big. They're cumbersome. Um, and they have a shelf life as well. So look at updating your f uh, fire extinguisher. Something like the Element is the latest in technology. You're going to love this one, okay? Look how small this thing is. So this compared to a five-pound fire extinguisher, five-pound fire extinguisher will run for about, say, 12 seconds, 10 seconds. This thing here will run for 50 seconds. It doesn't have a high-pressure discharge, which means if you turn it on, it's not going to blow the grease all over and give you a flare up. It's a chemical reaction and it's easy to use. You take off the top, you take off the bottom, you strike it, it actually emits a mist and it's a, it's a safe mist. It's not toxic and it doesn't leave residue. And all you do is you point it at the fire and it bur burns out the fire, that's it. It's really simple. And it fights all major classes. So now you don't have to worry about which fire extinguisher I get for where. Right. That's great, so and this you can is the latest. Yeah, so it'll put out uh, any household fire, but also you can put it anywhere in the house. Uh, it's easy to store and handle. And in your car, yeah, put one in your car all the time. So this is fantastic. And um, so we move on from that to furnace filters. Uh, you know, keep your furnace filters changed and fresh. Um, we're in the house a lot. There's a lot of people in the house. We're hanging out a lot, and that air quality is important. So make sure you keep that changed. Um, you know, look at the ratings. Don't buy the cheapest ones all the time. Don't go for the highest ratings thinking I'm gonna filter everything out. There's a need for that for some people who are very sensitive, but that also puts a lot of pressure on your furnace system. So if it's too much filtration, puts a lot right. of pressure on the system and you have to change it more often. So mm -hmm. anything under a five MERV rating, the MERV rating is like the minimum efficiency uh, reporting value. Anything under a five is really not worth looking at. So five and above, but not too high. And then look at what the particulates are that get filtered out and get something that suits your needs, but keep it changed all the time to keep that furnace working really well. Okay. Um, what about using UV light? There's a new technology yes. for sanitizing. So Yes. So this is from Carrier, and this thing mounts on, on the furnace, and this light goes into the duct. Um, near your your um, air conditioning coil, which often has moisture on it and builds bacteria. So this light actually kills all the bacteria on that coil. And also as air travels through, kills airborne bacteria. So this is a great addition to any furnace to have, kills all that airborne bacteria, all that bacteria that may be in the system that's getting pushed out throughout the house. Yeah. Is it a pricey upgrade? Um, it, you know, there's different variations. There's a single light, there's a double light. You go to the carrier website, it starts to show you you need an electrician um, and, and to, to power it up. But I think in the long run, it pays for itself because it gives you a really healthy house to live in. And then lastly, I know we're, we're, we don't have a lot of time, just make sure you check things around the outside of the house. The grade, especially after the winter, you want to make sure that the grade runs off away from the house so the water um, I'm going to turn off my timer okay. so that the water's not. I was worried that was house. your fire alarm, Ramson. <laughs> no, that's but, my but timer, so I don't run over on you. You're you're well equipped. <laughs> and it was good to see you, Ramson. Good I wish we did you, have dude. more Thank time. You.
And we'll link Thanks up all your socials at chch.com. Stay safe. Thank you.